Godzilla. You know what I have to say? If you don't have fun what you do, find something else to do. Yeah. Uh, 28. Westbury Hills? It's me, Mikey Pipes, and Godzilla. Westbury Hills, that's where I want to be. Living in Westbury Hills. <laughs> and the only reason why we're out here is because he's a YouTube subscriber. Yeah. Yeah. We see you. We should you yeah. as well. You love me, I love you. Yes, we're a big happy family. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's got a automatic water detection system yeah. that he wants us to hook up, put on the water, man. And he thought it'd be a great idea because it's a new product. Probably. It would make some great content. So I guess we'll see what's, what happens when we. Let's go right. say hi. Let's say hi. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. How are Hi. you? Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Mike. Indeed. I'm Godzilla. Yes. <laughs> oh, you know us. Oh, yeah. you're internet famous. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ah, cool. All right. Part We're putting in a, a valve for you, right? One man shuttle valve? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, lead the way. And apparently it's, it's a new product? Relatively new, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just going to remind you the bottom step here is steeper than the others, and sometimes people are a little surprised by that. We could, we just make sure Godzilla does. Godzilla, the last step is, is has a taller uh, rise than the yeah, others, to be careful. Uh, oh, what do you got here? Uh, I'm a bit of a nerd. So. You're a bit of a nerd? Yeah. Is that a 3D yeah. printer? Uh, that's a laser cutter. These are the 3D printers here. Oh, wow. wow. You make yeah. anything cool? Yes. You know, oh, she says yes. He's going to say no, but he said, but he okay. was. Monday, Mikey Pipes. <laughs> on the calendar. I'm on the calendar. You're on the calendar, yeah. So what do you make? I don't know. What do I make, Amy? Um, you have made, you've made me uh, things to, you know, like chargers for my iPhone. He's really? Yeah, I made that guy. <laughs> Oh, oh, here. Here's something I made, actually, that I did. I made the whole thing on this. That whole thing? I, I, what is this? I did the electronics. Okay. I uh, laser cut the, the, the case for it there. Okay. So you make cool stuff. Cool stuff. Cool yeah. stuff. You know. he works or just, just practice. You work for Google? Yeah. Do you really? What do you do at Google? Uh, I'm the engineering manager. Can you help improve my search ranking? Uh, I don't have yeah. any. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I, wish, I wish I could. You're doing a good job. You know, I have, I have a friend of mine. He... he he doesn't work for them anymore still, but he still has his original email address, which uh -huh. is mike at google.com. Oh, well, well, That's I, how long he's been working for. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, Let's see your water, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're like an engineer. I so you're not I'm kidding. Me. You are a nerd. I am I am a nerd. It's yeah. all good, though. I am absolutely Respect a nerd. that. So, all right. Yes, they do. What are you trying to protect with this automatic shutoff system? Uh, everything. Okay. So, you know, it's an old house, so part of it is I just, you know, everything I've seen has been wrong and or, you know, I've, I've had a few places here where I've had like pinhole leaks and okay. cut stuff out. So I don't know what's, you know, something's going to happen inside the walls or I'm just going to be out someday, you know, and something. So here's up. your double check valve. Here's yeah. your water main coming up. For whatever reason, yeah. you have this uh, T there or whatever. I guess maybe they redid some of this piping when they put this in. And that's how they added it. Um, and then this is so this is irrigation, is, probably. Actually, no, this is irrigation. Yeah, I think I think this some of this goes to outdoor spigots that are um, that were shut off. Or uh, I got I got a million plumbing problems in this house. So <laughs> yeah, okay, know, if you want to keep coming up, you know, buy another boat. Problem. So let's see this this valve. Yeah. It's fin. The fin. So there's also a fin with a different spelling for pools. It's P H I N. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is different. This is from, uh, they, I don't know, they got bought by. Is this a Google Logitech company? Logitech or something? I, oh, Logitech, really? So, some some electronics company like that owns them now. And and they're they're affiliated with, with Upinor. Interesting. Um, Godzilla, here. You gotta. Let's get this on video. We'll make be, the first. 
the unboxing. Mm. All right, so first off, we have plastic threads. I hate that, yeah, but too. it is what it is. We have direction of flow. We don't have to read the manual, but okay. So one inch IPS yeah. male connections on that. Yes, sir. And it looks like it just plugs in mm. there. Yeah. And installer toolkit. Let's oh. see. What do they give us? Yes. Presents? Mounting yes. screws? Hell, pound. Yeah, pound, yeah. Pound. <laughs> Your screws. Zip they ties. A couple of things too. They gave you oh, this as nice. well? Yeah, yeah. Okay, very nice. So we have unions. Okay. Very nice. Did this come with it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Interesting. I don't, know if I, told them, I don't think I told them what kind of... So we have to three quarter. It's nice. It's very nice. So we it's like union couplings. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, meter couplings. So we can adapt to that one inch there. So it looks like all we're going to need three is quarter. a good location to put it in. Yeah. That'll go there. And we're not going to... I, I'm assuming you're not going to use you're not going to use up uh, pipe dope on this, mm -hmm. right? Because the washer is going to act like that. Mm -hmm. But let's see if there's install instructions. That's the uh, speak water. That's the homeowner guide, and this is the installer. Let's guide, see the installer guide. All right, choosing where. Okay, so first, before you begin, you're going to turn off the water. Um, it must be installed in accordance with local codes and requirements. But we need to find a good location to put it. Let's see. There it is. Minimum 12 inches above ground level. Okay, good. Okay. Pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. If, if and then you pair it with your phone or your Wi Fi network. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's find a place to put it. Reading the manual, which came with this installation guide separate from that little booklet we need to decide where we're going to install it and it can be installed horizontally or vertically which is a good plus uh, it needs to be installed after a pressure regulating valve if you have a pressure reducing valve on your water main and after existing shutoff valve good device installed before irrigation lines and before any other pipe split off rooms fixtures what have you and it has to be a minimum of 12 inches off ground and it comes with that all right Pipes doesn't know how to solder. You're wrong. <laughs> Facts. 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 All right, let me get uh, the crescent. Oh. We were trying to figure out direction of flow, and there's nothing indicative indicating this anywhere, right? So we even look at the manual, it's got a little blue dot there, and I got a little blue dot there, but we're assuming that this is incoming water, but check this out. Direction of flow. Now, we do it from here mm -hmm. to there. Two guys can't kiss. Yeah, right. Awesome, <laughs> All right, and we'll do the rest in press. Bam. Got the deburring tool. This is mm -hmm. by Hilmer, by the way. Yeah. Love it. It's nice. It's easy. Very nice. And you don't have to, but I've got to, but. I'm going to take some scratchy paper, Bam. clean off the ends. And you guys are going to make fun of me with this, but it is what it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll all be okay. It'll be all right. Uh. Okay. And now, all we have to do 
Let's press that in. That's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Let me start down here. Count it. One, two, three, four. Did I do this one? Yeah. one of Five, them. six. Six joints in less than 60 seconds. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Water main. Let's slowly crack her open. Actually, let's read the directions. What does it say about turning this thing on for the first time? Let's see. Make sure they're clean, make sure we got all the debris out, which we did. All right, directional flow. Plug-in. Plug-in fin device and fittings. No, install fin plus device and fittings. And then turn water on, make sure there are no leaks, and plug-in device. Inform homeowner and have them pair device to their home network. Water is on. Oh, you motherfucker, you. All right. See that? Mikey Pipe's got Mikey Leaks. Okay. Take two. All right. Let's dry off our fittings. Double check everything. Make sure nothing's leaking. All right. Up there as well. Okay. Let's restore water to the house. And then we plug it in. Make sure you dry it off first. Check for power. Your plumber should have already installed your device, and the light should be blinking, indicating the power is on. Well, it's not blinking, but... Maybe it's still booting up. Maybe it's still booting up. Let's plug that back in. It's probably booting up. These computers, they're sometimes they gotta... I know it. I'm responsible <laughs> I, for something. I wonder if it's Windows or Android. <laughs> it's definitely not uh, uh, Mac OS. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, there we go. I see some... It's doing... Yeah, I think it's probably starting up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be patient, wait for, wait for blinking. Let's be patient. So what is this cool thing here? That's my irrigation controller. I, I replaced the old dumb one with the smart one. Very nice. So it's, you know, it's, uh, oh, look at that. It does a weather forecast and figures out it's going to rain tomorrow. So, so if it, it ah, to that's very smart. Yeah. See, sometimes tech is good to have. Sometimes, yeah. Especially if it's going to rain because those rain sensors, they only stop when it's, it's already raining. Rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this, this actually, it, you tell it about your lawn and what plants you have and stuff and it'll actually calculate how much water they need. So it keeps track. Well, I watered them yesterday, then it rained, so I don't need to water tomorrow or water less. So right. it has a heartbeat. Yeah, most, I'm gonna call that blinking. Let's go for next. Select so network, follow the steps below. So press the blue button on your... Ooh, fancy. Okay. I'm gonna press the blue button. And press oh, I'm gonna press it for you? Yeah. You press and hold or just press? No, it's just press, press it. Yeah. Press and hold down or... Mm. Press the blue button. It doesn't say let go. Well, it doesn't say hold either. So let's press it. It says when the lights begin flashing. Is that flashing? I, I think it's flashing. It's doing I pressed it. Okay, let's find out. And then when the lights begin go to your flashing, phone go to your phone and, and select Wi Fi and then find the network that be, begins with plug in. All right, let's All right, go check that out. Off my screen for a minute. We'll see if it's Wi Fi is showing up. Yes, it is. Still want to show all your 
50,000 subscribers? My, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 14,000. <000. laughs> hey, I'm, I'm anticipating the future. View devices on network, so. Okay. That's a nice comment. This is paying the future, yes. 50,000 subscribers would be nice. I'd have to have a sick giveaway. Because <laughs> a lot of YouTubers don't do giveaways like that. That's true. And a lot of them don't even bother commenting <laughs> to comments. Maybe I should plug my channel on your channel. I think I have 2,800 oh, yeah? subscribers for my little electronics. Uh, yeah, I can give you a random, shout out. Random stuff. Well, especially with a cool basement like that. <laughs> And a cool job? <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, did it find it? It's, uh, it's working. It's pairing. Wow. All right. Real time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it stopped flashing. Oh, clouds. Oh, it looks like clouds. Look at that. Checking for updates. So you know it's going to install an update. So how much was this thing? <laughs> this was said uh, like 800 bucks. Interesting. And it's it's an Upanor company. You said that. Belkin is what I was trying oh, to Oh, Belkin. Yeah, gotcha. Upanor and Belkin together, I think. Nice. And I assume that it senses flow. When it shouldn't, and it's smart, and it turns itself off. Or do you know how the basic pr principle yeah, works? It, sense, it senses temperature, pressure, and flow. And it has some really sensitive, like it doesn't have like a vein flow meter. It has some sort of sound wave-based flow meter. Okay. So it's supposed to be able to detect even the most minute drips or anything like that. So over time, it'll recognize like... It'll probably ask me, like, Are you well, doing what this? did you just do? And you're like, ah, oh, it was laundry. Interesting. And then one day I'll be like, hey. So it learns your behavior. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like the Nest thermostat. It's supposed to learn your behavior and be, you know, economical with an HVAC system. But Yeah. And supposedly, <laughs> you know, it'll get, like, when, it, you know, when a fixture turns on and off, it'll get the pressure wave back into the unit. And so it can actually sense that that faucet is, feels different than the other faucet or whatever. Who knows if it works, but... All right. Well, for that price point, it better work. It better, better work. <laughs> now, is it eligible for any insurance discounts on your homeowner's insurance? Yeah, yeah, it is, and I have to look into that. Excellent. I'm, I'm, Good stuff. I'm an idiot. I just because we've it. installed WaterCop by DanaQuip, which I think their company is horrible because, you know, whatever, for my own reasons. And then lately we've been installing leak defense systems. By, uh, it's called LDS. And it's similar principle, has an app, it has its control, it's not as integrated as this, and it's almost more than double the price. Oh, okay, yeah, because I remember you saying, actually, that, yeah, people were getting them and then getting as much back from the insurance. Yes. To make it worth it. So, for, if you have Chubb, for example, uh, they'll give you $5,000 to mm -hmm. put in an automatic water leak detection system, mm. uh, you know, to prevent property loss. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but only Chubb. What are you saying? Oh, we got a leaker here, don't we, Miss Morley? Oh. <laughs> we had a leaker. You know, my <laughs> my three-quarter copper by female adapter was leaking. You know, but that was a great inter uh, impersonation of, uh, that's the New Bedford plumber. The New Bedford plumber. And you got to give him respect. You know, he's got a, a very huge channel, big audience. And, you know, what works for him in his area works for his clients and customers. So Yeah, I'm going to get here. I'm going to see if I can help this lady out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we like all you guys. All right, so is it yeah, almost done? So okay. Now we gotta do, now I got to configure remember? your home. Yeah. All right, so put your old personal information in there. and uh, right, so get you typed in your personal information. Now it's take, take inventory of your fixtures. In the next step, we'll take an inventory of the water fixture sinks da -da 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 in your home. Make sure you include... Only fix it after downstream. Okay, so what's next? Maybe we'll do one. It's... All right, so how many dishwashers you got? Uh, one dishwasher. You have an outdoor spigot? We do have. How many do you have? None working. Uh... Why? Why not <laughs> Hold on, you got a plumber in the house. I know. I told you I'm going to have more jobs for you. Okay. I'm going to do one because we All right. Got, uh, how, many, how many showers do you have? Shower only. One, the sh one shower, two sh shower tub combos. Good. Sinks? Kitchen sink. And then you have, probably have three. Sink down here, slot sink one down in the here. laundry room, I guess. <laughs> Toilet, cool. let's see. One, two, three, four. Any tub onlys? Nope. So go to zero. Take zero. Okay. Washing machine, we've got one. Good. And next. Next. Is it going to ask me to, how'd your plumber do? Oh. Five stars. Look at that. Got to <laughs> fill in all your information. Cool, yeah, let's do that. Five stars. 
Doctor. Pipe Doctor. My mom is like five foot five. She came out five. Eight, Mikey nine. pipes. <laughs> Someone's gonna see that, by the way. <laughs> what's what's the phone number? Uh, the office is five one six three four eight six three zero zero. Your setup is complete. You have no alerts. So, Run a plumbing check. Let's see what that's about. I think what this does is it turns the valve off and then checks to see if the if it holds pressure. Okay, so great. Would you like us to run a standard or extended? Let's do a standard check, which is up to six minutes. Okay, short thing. Be sure you don't have any water running. Sure okay. Don't. So no water for the next six minutes. And let's see. Plumbing check in progress. So it's initiating a plumbing check. And we have a countdown of three minutes and 49 seconds. It's pretty cool. So it's doing something. It seems to have closed or closing. Turning off water. All right, turning off water. And it's checking for leaks. How is it going to test for leaks? I guess it senses water flow I think if passing it, yeah, through the if, valve. If the pressure drops on the closed side. Yeah, kind of like a, uh, me testing a backflow device. You know, checking for reverse flow. Okay. So Three minutes and count. Your sink. Okay. And it's supposed to, it just monitors the different. All right, so it looks like she's opening up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Completing mm -hmm. test. And you got an alert. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your plumbing check is complete. Everything looks good. Cool. All right. Oh, what's test details? Well, it showed me some numbers. Okay, there. so it showed, oh, look at that. Pressure before and after. And today at 12 p.m. So I guess over time, I can see, like, if my water pressure varies or... Interesting. To... Yeah. Sorry. Very, very sophisticated. I happen to like it. P-H-Y-N. And I'm sure someone for this company is going to end up seeing this video. I would like to learn more. I do a lot of the leak, detect leak defense systems, and it would be nice to partner with Mikey Pipes, and let's get these in homes in, Lo in the Long Island metropolitan New York area. All right. Good stuff. So you have, like, what do you have? What, um... It's bathroom a faucet? laundry sink. So the laundry sink is open, and you are using 2.9 gallons per minute. That is pretty cool. Yeah, and is that the temperature up. of the incoming water? I don't think it's 73 degrees. Did you say? Yeah. Is it 73 off. degrees outside? I don't know. Maybe it needs time to calibrate. I don't think that's 73 degrees. Yeah, it wouldn't be. Yeah. So your wife's yeah. turning off the faucet. Okay. There it goes. To zero. zero. Look at that. Totally. I love this thing. Wow. I like the fact that I can get that detail. It's not just like... Uh, you know, I love the detail. Let me tell you, the leak defense system is very expensive. Very expensive. Doesn't install as easy as this. And the water cop system, you know, it has a benefit because you have w multiple wired or wireless sensors scattered throughout the house. However, you just told me that with, with uh, Finn, P-H-Y-N, you can use third-party... What did you call it? Um, if, if then. If this, then that. Yeah, yeah, if this, then that device is where you have a water sensor. Let's say under the kitchen sink, um, on, behind the toilet. So if, let's say, the toilet supply breaks or the, the faucet uh, water supply is the risers break, you know, then it'll, it'll send the signal to Finn to turn off. You can so, integrate into your nest. Oh. So if it's going to freeze, turn on the thermostat or call me on the phone. That's or, pretty cool tweet if my water <laughs> goes too, too much or something so yeah you can oh interesting so it change is the color of the light bulbs <laughs> so we could really really customize this device you know to your you know your home and your own um i guess specifications and, and needs pretty cool but i love the fact that you can add wireless sensors that if it senses water then turn off the water pretty good stuff pretty good stuff i'll research this and we'll talk about this in a future video Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. Let's make it happen. 50,000 subscribers right around the corner.